Here, we'll see how the active ingredients behave towards enzymes. There are three possibilities. An active ingredient may behave as a substrate, as inhibitor, or as inducer. If carrots are our substrate, maybe a drug or any other, we see that when they are elaborated by an enzyme, our cock, they are transformed into slices, namely the metabolites. In other words, the substrate binds to the enzyme, it is transformed, usually is made more hydrophilic. The substrate blood concentration in repeated administrations will grow in the first few days and then will reach a steady state. Now we see what happens if we add an enzyme inhibitor to our substrate, for example, grapefruit juice, a famous inhibitor. Our cut will be blocked, carrots, our substrate, will not be elaborated and accumulate, the slices, our metabolites, decrease. Therefore, an inhibitor binds to the enzyme, transforms it, and makes it unavailable for processing substrates. In the presence of an inhibitor, the substrate steady state will rise rapidly. Finally, let's see what happens if we add an enzyme inducer, for example cabbage. Many brassicas such as cabbage contain enzyme inducers. The cac will be multiplied and this will allow to work faster. Carrots will decrease and slices will increase. The inducer binds to the enzyme and gives a signal to the cell that produces other enzymatic units. In the presence of an inducer, the substrate steady state will decrease in few days. The induction time is longer than the inhibition one, because it is related to the protein transcription. What is interesting is that when we use multiple medications simultaneously, the inhibition and induction actions are additive, as this paper highlights. In this study, it was found that the co-administration of some male P-glycoprotein inhibitors causes a progressive increase in the substrate digoxin. Everyone can imagine the possible consequences of this on the health of the patients. More at the webpage www.draginteractions.eu